Yes, guys. What a crap game of football that was. Big up everybody that's locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that crap. You already know what to do. Pay your rent because this is all we have left at this point. This is what a banterer feels like. What a load of crap. What a load of crap. We lost 2-0 to Brentford. I think that's our third defeat in a row at home to them. The first time a team's done that in first division history. Three wins at the bridge. We are a fucking brothel. Everyone comes here. They shoot. They score. And they leave happy. We are so easy to play away from home. It is absolutely pathetic. All you have to do is just sit back. Relax while we just look clueless and give up on the game after 30 minutes and hope you get a little chance. Make the most of it. If you score, you've already won. There was so much wrong with this game from the lineup to the way that we played to the game management to everything. First off, how did, why did Gusto get benched? Because if it was for the Arsenal game, Poch, you, you need to answer some serious questions. How does he get benched for one mistake, yet you'll persist with the likes of Sterling or Gallagher or Chilwell when they have bad games? We had to play the le our least attacking centre-back at right-back. So we had nothing on the right. But it's not all on Poch as well. That attack is hideous. That attack is just... It was so fucking predictable. Jackson did nothing. Sterling did nothing. Nonny had one shot and then did nothing. It was just Cole Palmer trying. The only one. Everything else was clueless. Clearly missed Enzo in the midfield. Obviously had a knock it his way. But to all you dickheads who are going on in Twitter saying, oh, Enzo hasn't been that great. Oh, we might need to get rid of him. The fact that there was even discourse over that. Hope you feel as embarrassing as you looked over the last few days for even trying to bring that stupid debate up into the timeline. Yeah, this is meant to be player ratings, by the way, but like this, this game has just thrown me completely off. Um, we'll start off with Sanchez. Better distribution. I guess he kept the scoreline decent. I don't really blame him for any of the goals. The fact he even got close to Morpai for the second goal speaks a lot about the speed that that guy has. Give him a six and a half. Conceded two goals. I can't really give higher than that. I don't think I'm. I, I don't think I am going to give a higher rating than that. This sassy. Gonna have to give him a four. Like, I thought he was good defensively until the goal, but it's a very big error from him. And But he offered nothing going forward either. So yeah, I have to give him a four. Silver and Colwell, they both get sixes from me. They didn't really do anything wrong, in all honesty. Barely tested, to be honest. And they did well in the air when they had to face someone for it. Cucurella, I give him a five. Says a lot that he was one of our best attacking threats in the first half. But even then, he didn't offer much on the right hand, um, on the left hand side. It was just him inverting and trying to get into positions in the box. And I guess it nearly worked once or twice. That's about it. I don't really remember him doing anything wrong defensively. I'll give him a five. Um, Caicedo. I'll give Kukurella a 5.5, actually. Caicedo. Calm in possession, but just a bit underwhelming. Like, didn't really wow me with his passing or anything guess it was just the dreaded low block that we always struggle with so i guess kaiseido i'm gonna give him a five as well gallagher another five i mean do i even do that ah he gets a five just just he didn't really do much either other than just run around and keep possession ticking disappeared just after the first goal like everybody else did you know, I'm, I'm going to give him a 4.5. I'm going to give him a 4.5. Sterling, uh, free. He's getting a free, if that. Just toothless. I, get those, I guess there was a couple take-ons and that. But what did he really do? What did he really do? Nothing. Nothing. I don't even remember a highlight from him. It's just a couple take-ons. That's it. Palmer. Actually, yeah, he's going to get the highest rating from me. I'm going to give him a 7. Made chance after chance, just no one was there. Nobody was there. He's the only one that looked like he had a clue what he was doing on the ball, though. Everybody else just looked clueless. So dumb, but there's one ray of hope, and that's Cole Palmer, thankfully. Until this team just drags him down to their level two and just beats him with experience. Um, Jackson, uh, one. I give Jackson a one. 
didn't even notice him. The guy was hiding behind defenders. Move around a bit. Get into position. There were some good passes in the second half. Some good crosses. One from James. Nobody was there. Another one from Gallagher. Nobody was there. Just did nothing. Just existed. Ghosted. It was crap from him. Um, I forgot to rate Matt Wakey, but in hindsight, I'm going to give him a three. Didn't have the best of performances, but when you've got this Asu who can't overlap next to you, it's very easy for him to get 2 v one And I think he just got marked out of the game after his first chance. Um, the substitutes, who was there? Matson Yeesh, that was a 0 out of 10. Straight 0. Everything that could have gone wrong for him did go wrong. But with Matson, can we just play the guy in one position and let him grow from there? What is this whole, I'm going to bring you on as a cam one week, then I'm going to bring you on as a right winger, then you can play the left, then you're going to be a left back. Like, let him develop in one spot. Can we just do that? Because that would be all right. Leslie didn't do anything. Why we brought on a DM anyway, I don't get. Washington... James, I'll give him, I'll give him a five, I guess. Had a nice little cross into the box. That's about it. He's only on the pitch for like 20 minutes anyway. So yeah, I'll just give him that and we move. What a load of crap. Poch, you need, you need to pattern up, man. I feel like you've just lost a lot of goodwill with this game. Stupid, stupid decision making. Like in hindsight, I'd say Washington should have just played with... Um, What's his name? Kaiseido. I guess it would have helped with transitions as the bare minimum. But the Gusto drop-off was stupid. The fact that De Sassi was culpable for the first goal is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Now we got to the run from hell and now I've got a lot less confidence for it. Brent, not Brentford. Tottenham, um, City, Newcastle, Brighton, Man United. Just beat Blackburn. Just, just, just fucking beat Blackburn. That's all I'm going to say. On my life, if you do not beat Blackburn, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Other than that, I'm out.